Hi, this is Eric from Trooper Ranch. Today I'm just going to talk a little bit about uh, mic tips that you get from different makers. Um, some of them are resin cast, some of them are aluminum cast, which are really nice. Um, but sometimes you get them that have, I'll try to see if you can see this, lots of little clumps and bumps and stuff on there that you got to get rid of, like these. And this back side's a little rough. That's not a big deal. I get some sandpaper and either, uh, depending on how big or small of clumps you got, I'll use, like this is 150. So I'll just take this sandpaper and I'll just lightly go around it and clean it up. Doesn't have to be perfect. A lot of it gets hidden down inside of the um, holes where the mic tip sits on the Stormtrooper helmet. So just a little bit of work. And I just basically am trying to clean up this edge, this, and I'll get rid of some of the larger clumps in there. See, like there's a big clump right there. So I'll just a little bit of sanding on it. Doesn't take a whole lot. They are just resin. You see that big clump's already gone. So just a little bit of work on these. This is all I do. And sometimes you'll get these and go, oh god, these are ugly and god awful. Well, it only takes a second to clean them up a little bit. And then you paint them and and it's uh, all good. Again, they don't have to be perfect because a lot of times you won't even hardly see them. All you really see is the front and a little bit of this edge because it's uh, back in that big socket of the helmet. I, I like to get rid kind of Flatten this out a little, not really flatten it, but get rid of the sharp burrs. Because a lot of times in a Stormtrooper helmet, that's the thinnest part of the helmet is, is right in there where these, these are going to sit. So I just clean up that edge a little bit so it doesn't have any sharp burrs. And then... Uh, you see, as you can see, I got rid of that big clump. It used to be right there. That one will be ready to go. This one has, you see that little booger right there? A little bit of sanding, and that little booger's gone, see? Didn't take much at all, just... This helps it look a little nicer, a little cleaner. Again, the helmets in the movie were really in really rough shape. So, unless you're a perfectionist and has, everything has to be perfect and spotless, um, you're going to want to spend a little more time on these. But, but this one's in pretty good shape. And that's all it takes to uh, work on these mic tips. Again, is trying to I want to get rid of anything that's sharp up here that could poke through the thin part of the helmet because you don't want that. And that's how much work it took to get those looking a hundred percent better. So I'll just go and get these all painted up and get them ready for a helmet. And uh, that's how, when you get these resin kits, or resin tips in uh, your helmet kits, it's not that uh, hard to do it. Another thing I just want to mention is, you can see that these screw, the bolts aren't always in the center. So when you're going to drill your holes in your helmet, sometimes there's a little dimple there that where the maker 
says that the mic tips are supposed to go. Don't always drill in that spot because if you do, this might throw your mic tip off. So I try to drill a hole where this is going to make it look where it's, where it's supposed to be centered. So it might not be in that little drill dimple. So just keep that in mind when you're doing yours and all will be fine. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you on my next video. Have a good day.